Hello and welcome to your recognition assembly. Let's begin all our assemblies as we do in school with the sign of the cross. In the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I can't tell you how much we're all missing you. It's just not the same not being in school and seeing you all each day. The amount of comments from your teachers about how hard you are working have been phenomenal. Some of you have gone above and beyond expectation and this work has been recognised by all of your teachers. Obviously, this recognition assembly is very different than the reward assembly that we would normally have in school. Uh, but your teachers have been making nominations for things that they've been impressed with. Now, this could be for the work that you've been completing. It could be for being creative and, and posting something on Facebook that is absolutely amazing. It could be for contribution to the community. Or it could be for something that your teachers feel wasn't recognised before the lockdown begun. If you have received nominations, you'll re receive a, a message via ePraise. Um, we want you to know that you've been absolutely amazing during this time and shown real resilience during a difficult time. So well done and keep flying high. We're not sure when we're going to see each other again, but it can't come soon enough. It's just not the same seeing you all in the dining room each day. Uh, I hope that you and your families have been keeping safe and staying well. And I also hope you've been managed to do things that perhaps you don't usually have time to do. And although lockdown can sometimes be tough, and there, there can be a lot of positives that come out of a difficult situation, I'd like you to reflect with your family at some point about some of the things that you've perhaps been able to do that you don't usually have time to do. Perhaps you've been doing lots of baking, films, watching films, perhaps been camping in your garden, walking, cooking, uh, cycling. Whatever it is, we hope you've enjoyed it and managed to spend some quality time as a family, as well as doing some brilliant homeschooling and working from home. You've been absolutely amazing. Um, here are some of the things that I hope for when we eventually do return to normal. When it's over, here's what I hope we remember. I hope that when all this passes, we appreciate how technology has allowed us to remain connected to loved ones but we realise that it is no replacement for personal connection. I hope we have come to realise just how much people really matter, particularly those closest to us. I hope we don't forget the risks and doctors and nurses have taken, the sacrifices they have made, the crazy demand placed on those professions. I hope more people stop to say thank you to those who keep us well. I hope we appreciate travel, both near and far, for all the ways it enriches our lives. I hope more people choose to spend money on experiences rather than belongings. I hope this pace of life allows us to slow down, find quiet and find balance when we come out on the other side. May we all take from this the importance of long conversations, time in the kitchen, the sound of birds outside, dancing to music, reading, writing and making art. I hope we can carry with us the acts of kindness that we have heard and witnessed during this time. May we remember the re resilience of the human spirit and try to emulate those who have been light in dark times. Finally, I hope we have come to realise just how important and valuable our school community is to us, even when we don't feel like coming to school some mornings. So look out on ePraise for any nominations made by your teachers. They'll be sent out this week. If you don't receive one, it doesn't mean that you've not been doing well. It just needs to be shown to us. Send a photo of something that you've done or that you're proud of during lockdown and we'll share it with staff. We would love to see them. Hi, Year 7. Wanted to say a massive, massive well done and congratulations to each and every one of you who have been nominated uh, for some award from any of your subject teachers or heads of department or any member of staff at the school, such as the pastoral staff like myself, uh, for all your work, your endeavour and your efforts uh, of Year 7. It's been very, very, very tough to move from primary school to secondary school. It's, it's not an easy transition, but the way you've done it as a year group has been nothing uh, less than remarkable. Uh, and I just wanted to share with you that my thoughts from 12 months ago uh, when I first met you uh, in July on the transition days. Um, I think I knew after those two days, as did a lot of other staff, just how good a year group you are. Uh, and we are absolutely delighted with the work you've done since you joined us in September. So well done. 
Uh, I hope you're all keeping safe uh, and staying well and active and healthy uh, during lockdown. I don't know when we're going to be back together, uh, but it's uh, it's going to be probably a little bit more longer yet. Um, I'm really missing you all and missing working with you and seeing you all uh, every day. And I know all the staff at St. George's will, uh, will echo those thoughts as well. So stay safe. Well done. Keep going with your work on ePraise. Keep knuckling down and getting all the tasks done. Uh, and really, really hope to see you all soon. Take care, everybody. Bye bye. together again. May the road rise up to meet you. May the wind be always at your back. May the sun shine warm upon your face, the rain fall soft upon your fields. And until we meet again, may God hold you in the palm of his hand. Well done. Keep working hard.